Judge Dredd, Dredd vs Death on the Nintendo GameCube. This game was released back in the year 2003. I remember playing on the PS2 demo of this. I was really impressed with the game. It's one of the greatest games I've ever played, period, to be honest with you. Where was I? Story? Uh, oh, hang on. I played a little bit of it. Hopefully I saved it. Did I save it? I did indeed, so I'm up to the docks. When I got this game recently, I was just like astounded that I found it again. And this is the level that you actually played the demo on. And it's just, this is where I'd stopped a few weeks ago. Really impressed with this first person shooter. It's a bit interactional as well. You get to arrest these perps. The Dark Judges. No, uh, the Dark Judges are some beings or ghosts or celestial. Yeah, hang on, is that it? The Dark Judges will be able to possess specially prepared bodies and whatnot. Yeah, that's who they are. When I don't remember. Oh, great. What are the buttons again? Bees. That. Hang on, just give me a second. What I like to do is not to kill them, but to arrest them. Limit. Yeah, because when you arrest them, you get a lot more points, and you get to unlock a lot more characters in multiplayer. Right, how do I arrest them again? What's that? No, oh, what an idiot! Wrong button. Who the heck was that? Your mug. Right. Right, that's not the one. That's not the trailer. That's interesting. They get life if they try to kill you, of course. Um, they, it's not like as if, okay, I see a perp, you're going to arrest them, they get life. No, they get um, that sentence when they try to kill you. Let me just sound my, I repeat myself over and over again. Assault of the Judge. Now, where was I going with this? This game was brilliant back in the day. Ooh, that was close. This, yeah, fantastically brilliant. The demo alone was addictive. I got it on the PS2 demo, and I played, got the actual game on the Xbox. The online... Oh, this game may not have online, but it's got a fantastic multiplayer system. This game is cooperative. I was like, you know, after seeing the movie Judge Dredd by Sylvester Stallone... Noise annoyance, huh? Two years. I felt this game had a bit of a dark essence. You know, the movie Dread 3D was absolutely brilliant. I can't decide which one I preferred more. Sylvester Stallone's Dread or the other Dread recently? The aiming is it's a little bit difficult. The controls are alright, it's just the GameCube control pad. It is a bit hard to remember the controls with the button systems like this. You do get other judges helping you in certain parts of the, um, the game. Which is fantastic as well. Yeah. No parole. I like the way Dredd speaks in this. Six months, no parole. Awesome. Absolutely great. Voice actors for this game, they really should do movies themselves as well. Really awesome. You get to change your weapons. Yeah, you get these... I wouldn't say home... Well, those who don't have homes... You, you hurt them, uh, well, you get in trouble. If you kill innocent civilians, the judges will be after you to kill you. You know, it's like another way of saying you failed the, the game, so to speak. So you might as well just abort it and whatnot. Man, this is hard. Shoot the darn gun, what are you doing? Right. Yeah, I can kill him if I want to, but I'd just much rather lock them up. Oh, oh, there you go. I think you're shooting at me, man. When I play... That's your fault, mate. How do 
do I... Hang on, that's right, stay there. Whoop, whoop. Forget it. Sometimes I deliberately let them shoot me so I can put them in behind bars and whatnot. Yeah, that's right, I forgot to mention in this game you get to switch between the, uh, the ammunition. You get the standard, you get the armor piercing bullets, you get the ricochet. What else you get? You get the flamethrower, or centigrade or something. And that one, explosive one. I prefer sticking with the standard. Now, the thing that was scared about me just about this game was the zombie part. You get zombies and vampires coming after you in this game as well. No, you can't arrest them, unfortunately. You just have to get rid of them straight. But that's why I found this game so fantastic. It has such a variety of different characters, whether it be like street gangs or cult. Uh, members, vampires, zombies. I was like, wow, what a massive variety. Fantastically awesome. And you can arrest people, so you feel like a proper police, judge, jury, and executioner. She's a troublemaker. I'm trying to make her stop. Stop! Stop in the name of the law! <laughs> I forgot what bun it was now to... I don't know what... Oh, hang on. Right. Stupid little morons. How on earth? What button is it? That's what I mean about the GameCube control pad. What button is it? This one? No. That's the jump. So it's not that one. This one? That wasn't nice. I'm gonna have to try and remember what, what button it was. Some. Look at that. Look at the way she's dressed. And a tattoo there, too. On the right bum cheek. So, this is Judge Dredd, folks. Uh, there's a lot more to this game than what I've shown you, of course. This is just a small segment, but this is the part of the demo gameplay. Even though this is the full game I am actually playing. So thank you very much for watching. I hope I don't disappoint. And I'll show you the multiplayer on another video. Alright? You take good care of yourselves, and I'm going to try and complete this game.